Hello, everybody. As the title of the stream and probably the the VOD doth say, everything went to hell last time. <laughs> because I do believe if my memory isn't completely shot, warnings were thrown all around the town that uh, Entei was going to get dueled on Showdown Mountain. And if anybody wanted to come get turned to stone, they could as well. But when we got there, Entei was already turned to stone. But Crocodile was meandering behind us and dropped a stone tablet. The following day, we decided, uh, since, like, one person, Dedene, talked to Nosepass, who saw Crocodile heading towards Serene Village, which, like, oh no, he's gonna go do something. But we still wanted to go to the place that Mawile indicated from the stone tablet, like the prehistoric ruins. And, uh, so, Gabriel and I, along with Archon, went to Serene Village to stop Crocodile from doing anything, while everybody else besides Ampharos, Jirachi, and Swirlix stayed at the guild. Everybody else went to the prehistoric ruins. And then everything went wrong! Crocodile immediately made a beeline for Revelation Mountain, breaking through all the gates. And uh, Nuzleaf, along with Archon, Gabriel, and I went after him. We got to the top of Revelation Mountain. There's a lake there underneath a pyramid of mystical power. Gabriel can read ancient text for some reason. Uh, Crocodile shows up and just, like, does not give a crap about legendaries coming to mug him for apparently turning Entei to stone. Suicun and Raikou show up. Meanwhile, he's just like, like, Nuzleaf, you motherfucker, where's my goddamn money? But nobody takes, like, a moment to wonder what this means, and instead, I just smash open the pyramid, releasing the spring, Dedene told us, oh, hey, the spring can be used to uh, reverse the stoning effects. Meanwhile, it turns out Nuzleaf was a motherfucker bad guy the entire time, working for Yevatel, god of death mo motherfucker. And so everybody there got turned to stone. And then the Behem are apparently a part of this death cult of stoning and turned the prehistoric ruins team also to stone. Meanwhile, the, the only players left in this game are Esper, who was, a, I assume, following us because before we ran up Revelation Mountain, es we focused, the camera focused on Esper, who then followed after us through the gate. So she's probably going to be up there, at least going to run back down and tell everybody what happened, if not save us, depending on what Yevatel and Nuzleaf do to the spring. Ampharos, Jirachi, and Swirlix are still in the game. But otherwise, everything is fucked. <laughs> everything has gone to hell. And we still have two boss battles to go. <laughs> yeah. A lot to recap indeed. The intro has been inspiring me now that I got a drawing tablet. Huzzah. I presume you mean my little edited opening of all the other... Just like opening cinematic things from the other rescue, or not the rescue, but all the mystery dungeon games. I just had Rescue Team on the mind because my brain went, you know, out of all the PMD games, mystery dungeon games, Rescue Team is the closest to Super Mystery Dungeon in not having an opening. <laughs> this game has the most twisty turns of the four games probably when it comes to its plot, definitely. Because in Rescue Team, the only real twist was like surrounding whether or not the like the main character was the human from the legend and if that was connected to the catastrophes basically the fugitive arc is the only slightly twisty thing and which is kind of fitting because the fugitive music uh runaway fugitives is the best song except for maybe the credits music from rescue team and then with explorers like, again, mostly the only twist surrounds Dusk Noir and Grovile, I guess, if I remember correctly. And then technically Dusk Noir again in the special episode. 
I guess a little bit of a twist in uh, the Prodigy Iggly buff. And then with uh, Gates to Infinity, like, I don't know. I don't think there was many twists just so much as, like, giving context to things. Like, when it came to, I forget his name, Verizian's friend, the Unicorn Boy. Like, obviously something was gonna do with him. Obviously something was gonna do with the Glacial Palace. That's an interesting place, a weird place. I guess Muna. It just, it's like, Muna doesn't even register as a twist to me anymore, mostly because we never met her before she decided she was gonna death cult us. But, enough rambling. Let's see if we're actually dead. Like, imagine if a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game had the balls to go, yeah, the character you've been playing for 25 hours, they're dead now. Here's a new character. Go D&D &D on us. Oh! What even? Is is that from them corrupting the... Uh, 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 are they corrupting the spring and then just dooming the world immediately? Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a moment because I just remembered a thing. And even with everything going to hell, we still don't know what's up with the sun getting closer. Or with the tree. Then again, with the darkness surrounding everything, presumably because of Yevatel corrupting the spring or something. I can only assume he also corrupted the world tree. Nah. Watch this then. Hell. On Earth. All of a sudden, it got so dark. What is that? Consider this a warning to all Pokemon in this world. I am Yeveltel. I am the one true destroyer. I am an end to Pokemon. Destroyer. An end to Pokemon? Allow me to demonstrate. Now I shall send all Pokemon in this world to the void. Meanwhile, Giratina's just like, Motherfucker, get out of my swamp. <laughs> I presume that's just like, I'm gonna send you all to hell, because I'm gonna kill you. I shall snatch away the energy of all Pokemon. <laughs> what? What? It is already too late for you to possibly escape. No matter where you are in the world. For a moment I went and was like, oh, is that the butterf Butterfree from Rescue Team? Who knows, maybe it is. No matter how far you run, I shall hunt you down. And you will become nothing. Prepare yourselves for the coming of my wrath. Tremble before the great terror that I shall unleash. Oh, hey, Arceus. What are you doing here, buddy? Are you gonna die too? <laughs> Feel the unending despair that I shall bring to the world. Okay, so he just did that to, uh, to flex. He just did that to flex, to be like, surprise, I exist, you're all gonna die. <laughs> See you later at your funeral. Ah! Oh! And so, Yeveltel and Nuzleaf's attacks turning Pokemon to stone began. Are we going to get a freaking time skip? Are we gonna get a time skip? And we're gonna wake up in a dark, like, even if it's just like five minutes into the future, only a few days even. We're gonna be walking through familiar locations with everyone turned to stone. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Many Pokemon in places all over the world. 
were turned to stone. A few days later, here on the summit of Revelation Mountain. Oh, hey, I'm frozen, Jirachi. You survived. We still all got fucked. Oh, yeah, they drained the... Dig a little bit. Maybe there's some underneath. It really is all dried up. But whatever happened to Esper? She followed. Like, what's the point of focusing on Esper if she just did it? Oh, nah. And here I thought the Litwick might play a role in something. It really is all dried up. They sucked out all the luminous water. Well, well, well. To think that Neon was the key to it all. From the first mention of the human world, I should have pondered it more deeply. How foolish I was. There was nothing to be done about it. We had no information to go on. Maybe we were a little late. But we have to consider everything we learned about Neon to be progress. Since we lost contact with the team that went to the prehistoric ruins too, we have to assume they were also turned to stone. What should we do, Amphros? We may be the last members of the Expedition Society. Uh, is that Esper? Have you just been camping out here, crying your eyes out? Like, oh god, everybody I love is dead. Welcome. Oh, I have you... <gasps> because she telepathed. She probably called the Expedition Society, and that's how they knew to come here. So I guess she's been hiding and working with them in the past few days of hell on earth. Welcome back, Esper. How are things in the village? Not good. Everyone was turned to stone. Well, hey, I guess out of anybody to survive that, it's you. Because you have no parents. So you're self-sufficient. Sure, the heartbreak of losing your friends and probably seeing two of your friends turn to stone right before you is probably traumatic. Now you know what it's like to be in the Expedition Society. You know what <laughs> Gabriel and I went through. I'm the only one left. I don't get it. What do we do now? I'm certainly at a loss here. It's okay. We'll figure something out. Really? We learned a lot thanks to your contacting us with your telepathy, including the events that took place here. Of course, there is still much we do not understand. And so our expeditions must continue. Our confrontation with Yerveltel will have to wait until we have learned more. It's okay. We will save them. Are we, are we going to play a, a huge chunk of the game just as Ampharos, Jirachi, and Esper? That would be kind of funny. And sad. Hey there, Neon. Hello. We have entered on to hell on earth. Everyone in Serene Village. Neon, Gabriel, and the others too. Archon, just another other. <laughs> Not important here. Just Neon and Gabriel. Archon, secondary thought. Mesper, can I count on you to help us? I've got no place else to go. If you're going to save everybody, Mr. Amphros... I believe in you. Please let me help you. Thanks, Esper. This may not be the best situation right now, but we'll make a comeback somehow. We just have to wait for our chance. Let's not let it slip away when it comes. I feel like I stopped at the perfect place. The Void Lands? Are we actually- Do we actually get sent to the Void? We actually- hey, He wasn't lying. He actually sent us to the Void. Huh. Huh. Like, is it an actual physical place or is it actually hell? Are we gonna actually meet Giratina? And he's just gonna be like, What are you doing on my lawn? Uh... uh. Why is there a bank box here in hell? <laughs> Where am I? Gabriel! Oh, Neon. Huh? Why? Oh, look at that, Neon! 
Why is there like skyscraper stalactites? W what is this place? Well, there's lava pits. It has kind of a purple magenta color scheme. There's a uh, evil clouds in the background, jutting stones from the ceiling. Yeah, this is this feels like hell. Not to mention the droning choir. This is crazy scary. Uh, this place looks far too frightening. How in the world did we end up in a place like this? Oh yeah, that reminds me. Nuzzleaf turned us to stone, right? <laughs> Haven't even processed that, my Riolu self, yet, I don't think. But if that's the case, what is this place? Could it be that this is the world you live in after being turned to stone? This is where you go after you fucking die? I don't know. But if it is, where are Archon and the others? Raikou, Suicune, or even Crocodile? I was shocked to find out Mr. Nuzleaf was behind these turning to stone incidents. It turns out that he was a bad guy! I can never forgive him for tricking you like that, Neon! But... Why would Mr. Nuzley... I mean, why would... <laughs> I like that he's like, immediately, he's no longer a mister. He's just a name. I, won't, I mean, why would Nuzleaf want to turn Pokemon to stone? Ah, it's just too much to take! My head is spinning! And another thing, this place looks crazy scary. I feel totally helpless. Seriously, what are we gonna do? Well, we have our item box here. <laughs> we can do our banking. <laughs> there are way too many things we don't understand going on here. I don't think we're going to learn anything standing around here, though. Right now, we need to focus on finding a way out of here. So I can punch Mr. Nuzleaf in his dick and his little nipples. Gabriel. Yeah, I know. We can't give up now, right? If we don't have hope, we don't have anything. Can't lose hope. Seriously? <laughs> huh. Every... I didn't know that when I said everything went to hell that it would be so literal. This is some funky music that's playing. And now the music box has made it creepy. I'm turning up the music. Yeah, everything feels bad. Let me quickly check. We have a lot of apples, a lot of elixirs, reviver seeds, some blast seeds, petrifies, a petrify wand. I'm gonna take a few more petrify, uh, not petrify, reviver seeds. Twinkly twinkling of the music box. The path is blocked. Seems like I can't go any farther this way. And here I thought that would be the way to go. I guess it's this way then. Abyssal Badlands. That's nice to have early on. Ah, get burned, idiot. You know what? I'll screech you. And then I'll nom you. Because if we're in hell, we'll need to level up our game as much as possible.
All right, should probably open up against enemies with Screech from now on. Seriously, this is still very creepy music to be playing here. This place is very purple. Normally, I like purple. The music box is not helping. I kind of want that clutch performer just to get the stats out of it for eating it. Poison guard. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's going to be poison things in here, but you never know. Whenever I'm in these places, I'm going to go a little slow to give me a chance to prepare. I'll vacuum wave you. Screech. Oh, it's soundproof ability. That's cool. Note to self. Do not bother screeching. Hmm. This is twice now I tried to use my screech in the game going, ha <laughs> ha. The Voidlands are so beautifully desolate. That's one way to say it. With these creepy purple cactuses. The music box isn't supposed to help you. It's supposed to scare you. Yeah, it's just the fact that the only other song I remember having a music box prominently in it in this game is the partner theme. And that's kind of worrying. Smack you from afar. And we didn't run into the clutch performer guy. Must just be wandering around out there beyond the sight of God himself. Which is hilarious that we actually... S well, that's just mean, you bastard. I just to, because since he's in the tunnel, I wanted to, pull, like, move in a good direction to stop it from potentially smacking the boy again with a multi-hit move. Hey, there's the clutch performance. Boost my speed? Definite want. I was just planning out my routing to make sure that it didn't double-tap Gabriel. They honestly feel more desolate than the paralyzed future did to me. Maybe due to how alien the, they feel. Hmm. I can definitely feel that. Are we even going to make it down there in time? Gabriel, why? That's just very annoying. <laughs> Like, I get it. It w wanted to go grab the item, but it was just very far away. So why? But oh well, here, power boost Y for the boy. Awfully convenient that the AI decided to go to an I'd Berry power! Hell yeah! The game has uh, redeemed itself. God, what if, that one could have been berry power back there, and I would never have known. It could have been berry power that we lost, and I would never have known. I just would have been like, oh, gosh. Well, gosh darn indeed. Let you get closer. Smack you. Well, that power up Y is definitely helping the boy. We're here to murder you. If 
We tried to status each other. We both failed. Not to mention also like that light vroom of like uh, the a base being like I, I forget the word like strummed. I don't know why that just sticked out to me. <laughs> Neon, we could be permanently killing the Pokemon here. Yeah, the same could have been said for the uh, paralyzed future. Speaking of paralysis, let's see, who needs it more? Apparently me. Well, now that's just mean, but it didn't work. Ha <laughs> ha, berry power. I have the power of berries and god on my side. Status mirror. I cannot get statuses, so I'm going to increase my speed. Thank god that that spin trap was there. It reminded me that I am immortal. Intimidator. Give it to the boy. And an Emera up orb. We shall use if a uh, need comes. Basically, if we max out the looplet. I don't know why, but when I was reading the, the little dialogue, like, log, it going, uh, like, uh, neon filled the belly somewhat. My name being read, like, uh, I don't know. Weirded me out for some reason. Lullaby, hell yeah. Clutch performer, let me check, uh, speed, nom. <laughs> I was gonna say, have you bumped into any Pokemon in the dungeon? And thankfully I didn't have to eat my words. Like, that's one thing I forget, like, what dungeon it was. Back in, I think, Explorers where uh, we were in a weird dungeon, and I made the offhand comment. It was like, what if this dungeon was completely devoid of Pokemon, and it was just like a maze to, like, waste your belly? I, like, I think that would be extra creepy. I think it was uh, in the post-game where we were in Azuril's Nightmare, I think. And for the first few floors or something... We only saw, like, like, uh, Pokemon that were also starters that you could choose at the beginning, or, like, get from the personality quiz at the beginning of the game. And I made, like, what if we can't even fight those guys? They're just here to exist. And if we, like, uh, they're just, like, all the starter Pokemon with Azuril having nightmares of, like, the player characters. But nope. Well, that's just mean. Screech at you. Nom. Nom. But, like, there's definitely some horror potential in Mystery Dungeon. Ow. Screech. Oh. Alright, that guy was a pushover. I thought like, oh no, it's a Steelix. Me gon' die. And he went down in two hits and a screech. For some reason, I thought Sand Shrew was like a ground type. How did Fire do that much? Again, I'm terrible. I could have looked at his typings, and I just didn't. I'm a fool. Excessive force? Hmm. We rarely run into that many enemies, but I guess it's like, it's usable somewhat. So might as well keep it. 
Well, that's just fucking mean. Luckily, I have a ton of elixirs. First, Screech, and then Nom. And then Lullaby flinched. Life is bad for you. Just ground doesn't resist fire. Huh. I just figured it's like, it's dirt. Why does dirt not resist fire? I don't know. I guess it's just because a lot of ground types are also rock types that I just assumed. Who knows, maybe the Pokemon company also assumes. Because it just seems weird. Oh, you a motherfucking bitch ass motherfucker. You, you little bitch. With your room wide moves, you asshole. Of course, give us a. Uh, let him come to me. No idea why you made that movement. Please die. I should probably also... Haha! <laughs> Get lullabied, idiot. And a level up for the boy, too. I keep forgetting about Alolan, Sand Shrew, and Sand Slash. Then again, I have never played the Alolan games. I need to do that at some point, but then again, I also need to play through uh, the Generation 5 games. I need to play through the Generation 6 games. Aside from that one time you did a pin missile, you have not been that scary. Oh, I just realized something. The music box kind of makes me think about, uh, The Binding of Isaac. We are definitely gonna swap uh, Pekka Berry for the grimy food. I do kind of like the touch that there is food items here, but the only food items are grimy food. So it's like a terrible existence. I saw the big and thought like, oh no. But a uh, big guy ain't that scary. He dies in two hits to, <laughs> to a psi beam, idiot. be neat if there were like fan mods for the 3DS games, but I don't think there are. I don't think there's then again I have like I have no idea the logistics of like ROM hacking uh 3DS games. Like, maybe the bigger ones, like the mainline Pokemon games. But I don't think there are any ROM hack mods for Mystery Dungeon. That is the second explosive mine we've run across in this singular dungeon. I think the, this world is telling us to die, Gabriel. <laughs> that just made me think of the meme. Looks like we're gonna have to kill this guy, Gabriel. Ah, damn. 
Then again, like, if a Pokemon tried to steal Gabriel's, uh, blah, 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 scarf, he would totally kill. You tried to take my friendship scarf, I will kill you! Not even Arceus himself will help you. How do you know Arceus? I met him personally. He signed your death warrant. <laughs> there are a lot of ROMs for Explorers of Sky in particular. Yep, I need to get around to maybe playing those sometime. There are small, like, singular story ones and stuff. Like, give them a shot. I've heard decent things about quite a lot of them. But I'll probably just need to go on a Mystery Dungeon break again, so I don't get, like, burnt out. Yeah, 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 you're electric terrain. I punch you from afar. I scream in your face. Now that's just rude. Die. Definitely want to swap out this last grimy food. Let's see. Hmm. I think I get the most out of it. In the most immediate. Then if he runs out of a move, I'll give him another elixir. I don't think I've even read what grimy food does to me in this game. Barrage! Let's see. First thing to go is excessive force. We hardly kill things next to each other. Power boost Y? Become even more of a god. Gabriel. I just had the crazy idea. Like... My brain went, with our power combined, we can rule this world side by side. Why is there so much Emera dust? That is all again, borderline horrifying. And give that to you so you can screw up the enemies from afar. Get barraged, idiot. But yeah, it was just like, it would be funny if there was a mystery dungeon game that ended with, like, the player character taking over the world. I don't know. Just came to me randomly. With our powers combined, we can hijack Yvotel's plans and take over the world instead of killing it. Is this a cave? All of a sudden, it's so dark that I can hardly see anything. Huh? What's that sound? Why do we have our gadgets if this is hell? Does that mean the society gadgets also have souls? Are these Porygons? Isn't that the expedition gadget? Neon took out the expedition gadget. Anyone, can you hear me? <gasps> That's Dedene, isn't it? We hear you! Gabriel! Is that you, Gabriel? Yeah, Neon's here too! And Neon! Where are you, Dedene? I think I'm pretty close. I keep going straight ahead. Got it! We are in <laughs> You're in the society, even though... <laughs> even through death. We're dead in a society. Oh! Dedene and Mawile! I'm so glad you both are safe. But if you're here, that means... Yep, they got turned into stone. What? How? We were also turned into stone at the prehistoric ruins. What? We were suddenly attacked by the Pokemon that were at the ruins. They started flashing these lights on their fingers and black shadows came after us. 
In a flash, we were all turned into stone. Neon, do you think it could be? It probably was those Behem. I have no idea why, though. Those Behem had the power, too. The power to turn Pokemon to stone. But do you know why we were turned to stone? This place is known as the Void Lands. It seems to be the place where Pokemon are sent when they've been turned into stone. Pokemon that have been turned into stone? It's written on the wall here. Right there in ancient foot-shaped writing. These are the Void Lands. The spirits of Pokemon that have been turned to stone are locked away here. It really does say that! It says it right there! Can you read that? The ancient writing? Yeah, I don't know how come I can read it, though. But I can. My brain suddenly went like, could it be that Gabriel is like a Pokemon from the original Catastrophe? And like, then could read it, but he was a young child when he was or like, set on Caracosta's doorstep, so I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, Gabriel can read. He has the, he has legibility. But I can. That's quite surprising. It took me some time to decipher it, even with my training, but you just read it so easily. If only he was an archaeologist. <laughs> Enemy Pokemon in the Void Lands are not real Pokemon. Well, that sets my mind at ease, because I was going to say, if all these, uh, are, are like the souls of Pokemon that got brought here, does that mean that these are like the tortured souls that have stayed here for centuries and have gone mad? They are all apparitions made up of hate and given physical form. So maybe that was the purpose of the bitter cold. It stored all the negative emotions so apparitions wouldn't appear in the void lands. We must continue onward to defeat them. I see. So the enemy Pokemon here are all phantoms. But why is that written here anyhow? It must be from a long time ago. It seems that there were past Pokemon that were turned into stone just like we've been. They left this record here. Anyway, this is where Pokemon that are turned to stone are sent, so I think the others from the Expedition Society must be here somewhere too. That's why I've been sending out signals non-stop trying to contact everybody. It seems like I can't reach very far in this world for whatever reason. Well, while you're in hell, remember to stay s hydrated, everybody. I mean, Gabriel is the only character we know aside from the player to have gone to school. Of course he learned to read. <laughs> it is neat they acknowledge the enemy Pokemon. Yeah, because a lot of the times, the the enemy Pokemon in these games are just kind of hand-waved. They're there. Like, again, like at the beginning of Rescue Team, they're like, Oh no, the catastrophe is causing Pokemon to become super agitated. But they don't really focus too much on that. They kind of allude that there are wilder Pokemon that live in dungeons or around dungeons like the Minetric slash Luxio tribe. But it is neat that at least here, they're like, hey, just... I guess also technically the Paralyzed Future kind of tackled it well, at, at some point, either in the special episode, I forget. It's been a long time. It's only been a few months, but that's a long time. <laughs> it's only because we were close to each other that we were able to meet up. I see... That's why you knew we were close a minute ago. Uh, Gabriel. What's wrong? This place is so frightening. I felt totally hopeless and was about to give up. We found you two, dead in a mawile. I'm glad Neon kept going and never gave up. I don't feel like they very much, like, emphasize that. I think it's kind of like, again, the partner scene in uh, the Paralyzed Future of Explorers. There could have been a bit more to that. More character moments, damn it, that's what I want. Gabriel, why do you think those ancient Pokemon left behind these writings? They did it for Pokemon that have been turned into stone, just like they had been. I think they've probably left hints all over the place in hopes someone would find them. If that's the case, then why do they want us to find them? I believe it's because there must be some way out of this place. Well then, there's still hope. Okay then. I guess there is. There's still hope. Neon, 
I was being a scaredy Del Caddy. And saying all these kinds of pathetic junk. Sorry for causing you trouble. But I'm alright now. Let's go, everybody. We've got to go farther and farther. We'll find the others from the Expedition Society and get out of this place with everybody. All of us together. Oh, neat. We actually get to kind of wander around. There has to be a way out of here. Hold on to hope. We'll get out of here together. We will. All right, we need a few more apples and orange berries. I probably should have taken more apples in the past, but I sold them all because I was the apple mafia. Add members you want to take and go. Well, first thing is, uh... We'll bring Mawile along, because Mawile is awesome. Okay, we'll bring out a... I guess a defense looplet, so that Mawile has... Extra defense. We can also check and see what are your attacks. Iron Head, Sucker Punch, Play Rough, and Misty Terrain. Could have sworn they had like uh, a fairy breath, but oh well. <laughs> Never hurts to hoard some apples just in case. Whoa! Not expecting bombasticness. And nope, my looplet has been reset. But now, I punch harder. Crazy trumpets just came out of nowhere. Well, that's just mean. At least it was Screech. Right when I was starting to use it more. You bastard. Why do I get, like, Kirby vibes from this? It's the strings. This feels Kirby. Like the epicness, the built. You motherfucker. Okay, good. We didn't get split up. Ditto is such a cruel thing. I guess they had to put that in to make Ditto, like, a bit of a threat, but still, mean. Then again, the only ones we've found have been stationary. Uh, a, a, a Ditto pretending to be an item, and a Ditto that was sleeping. Although, kind of, because, uh, I forget. Like, I was trying to think, why wasn't I affected? By, like, the confusion. Numb. Parabolic 
discharge. Or maybe just charge. I didn't read it fully. It went away very fast. Oh, hey, I, aren't you related to the BM? Yeah. I'll GM. Huh. Nom. I should have used a nom, a different move, but brain went on bite spree. Can I just get super Kirby vibes from this music? At least these enemies have been interesting so far. Well, speaking of Porygon... Let's see, you increase HP. Nom. Why is it sounding like a ton of Emeras were breaking? There were none else on the... the map that I could see. And another one of these added to the boy. Hmm, do I care about trap proof? I think I'll just get the extra HP from you. We should probably also fix our stat issues. At least this is temporary. If it was for the full floor, it'd be nightmarish. I punch you in the face. And then you fall asleep. And then you die. And then you just fucking vanish. Watch as I make this buffalo disappear. The downside of having a big party. <laughs> Trying to go back leaves you... <laughs> well, then again, I could have swapped to him, presumably. Wand expert, I don't use it that much. Oh, that's so mean that it made him of... I got to avoid that LGM. You want to come fight me? Didn't want to let become a sniping post for a psychic type. Go ahead and punch you from afar. Well, that's mean. We haven't seen an agility in a long time. I remember when I could abuse agility. Hmm. I mean, presumably you know which is you in regards to the, uh, the, uh, the dittos. That makes sense. The confusion comes from them transforming, and thus you don't know who's who. Why'd you double hypnosis? Not to puppet me. You're a weird little Muna. Oh, hey, a decoy seed. Well, speaking of decoys. At least I one-shot him. Go ahead and eat an apple since we're getting a little low. At least 
none of those were an Emera. Get burned, idiot. I punch you from across the room. So many of you! Oh, that was close. That almost hit me. And luckily, everybody stayed together. Pokemon together strong. I'll go ahead and just use that. I was not going to take it with me, so why not? Distance dodge. Don't think so. It's, it's that kind of thing where it might just be like a single move that will come upon me. Oh. Again, do wish that I could see enemies in rooms that my allies are in. Because with a big train of, like, a team like this, it's a little difficult to know what's going on at the end of the train. Punch you. And then I bite you. Uh, this just leads it to a corner. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a room. Always gotta try and full clear for the most part. Unless a room is scary. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe we have a, uh, a grimy food to swap out for you. You're at least more valuable than a grimy food. We can at least sell a healing looplet. Power boost X. Hell yeah. Now I think I'll be reliably one-shotting transformed dittos. Yeah, lullaby coming in clutch. Don't even give him a chance. And a tiny reviver seed. What do we want to swap out for you? This surround one. I don't need critical hits to munch on you. Well, that's just mean. Nom. I shall fight you from afar. I shall fight you like Jafar. Gotta find item. Shit. I do kind of like that there's damage fall off. Oh, son of a bitch. Double son of a bitch. My ally killed me. Which is a bit mean. Oh, fuck off, game! <laughs> why has he got, like, why is he dodged twice? Fuck. Game! Stop! He does not have that much speed! Fuck off! He should not be able to miss fucking like three times in a row. Fuck off. Oh, he was very fast. No, he wasn't. He's a ditto with my speed, which means that we should be even. You're too fast for yourself. Utter baloney. Especially because we were, like, hitting dittos before lands and the before times super easy. Then all of a sudden, the game is like, and now you're going to miss this singular ditto because you are in the perfect position for your allies to hit you a lot. Screw you, game. You cheatsy bastard.
literally, it, if it took my speed, I should be able to hit him. It's not speed, Neon, it's accuracy, but speed is accuracy in this game. There isn't an accuracy stat, technically. This game added uh, speed, which determines, like, hit chance and stuff. Especially because there's, like, no use for speed in this game otherwise. It doesn't affect your, like, actual move speed. They just added a stat that would affect your hit chance alongside, like, actual hit, like, changing moves like sand, uh, what's it, uh, sand attack. Slightly weird, but still, kind of makes sense. Hey, a dead end. We haven't seen one of those in a long time. But yeah, it's just... A little annoying that, like, if that Ditto had the si like, that Ditto could not have had, like, vastly different speed compared to the other Dittos we've been fighting, and neither could it have greater speed than me if it took my speed. If we had about the same amount of speed, then we should just be hitting each other most of the time. Like, maybe a single miss. I could understand, like, a single miss. Maybe RNG makes it too. But three misses in a row from a ditto that made everyone confused so that there was collateral damage? No, that was the game being a cheatsy little bastard and I will not accept any other possibility. All my attacks are being sealed, I think. I refuse to respect the actions of a game that basically what I could only say would be finding a shiny chance in screwing me over. Here is the statistical chances of finding multiple shinies purely to destroy your soul. Auto shenanigans. Especially because nothing else has been that dodgy. We haven't had that many misses in ages. And this one is just like, and then this ditto, this Pokemon that we have fought multiple times, this Pokemon that has transformed into me multiple times, suddenly is faster than you to a ridiculous degree. No, shenanigans, cheats, lies upon the name of God. At least this they did a charge over there. Honestly, that's what you get, Dedene. You team killing motherfucker. I don't want to leave, I want to kill this motherfucker. Why are they all coming here today? Game, you can fuck off now. Well, actually, I can hit you, kill you, then my allies will be like, hey, heal. Now we'll just box in <laughs> Gabriel until he gets out. Don't care if that broke. Oh, fuck off. There should not be this many goddamn dittos in a row. Not when they have this stupid move. 
and apparently are super dodgy. I find it funny that I can push around fainted Pokemon. It's 50-50 when the speeds are equal. It shouldn't be, though, because that's stupid. It's like, ah, you have the same speed, which means that you have the... <laughs> well, obviously, no, we didn't have the equal chance to miss. He didn't miss me once, so it's obviously not 50-50. I tried to hit him three times. Miss. And again, with, like, all the other times we fought, like, dittos that transformed... Hardly any misses, so it's not 50-50 at all. Let's see, payback. What does this do again? Potentially very nice. I shall get rid of... Honestly, the super critical, that rarely happens for me. It seems like whenever I get the super critical, all my criticals disappear. But the chance for an enemy to lose all their HP to one? Priceless. <laughs> Speaking of bad luck, while I was watching the VOD for last stream, I found a shiny uh, Ferrothorn that was over level 56. Thorn learns explode at level 56. The game was like, here, have the shiniest bomb. Just th the right level. Just the right level to torture you with. The perfect way. Because there's nothing more heartbreaking when a shiny Pokemon faints itself like, you will never take me alive. Punch. It's also doubly annoying with the confusion thing because I don't think they even, like, brought back the, uh, the thing from uh, GTI, because GTI had the team tactics that you could find from the boxes, where if you open up a box, you have the ability to potentially find a team tactic that you're in top, basically the IQ skill. I don't think there's any ice Q skills equivalents in this game so far. And it feels like it would be very late to introduce them now. God damn it. At least <laughs> we're not so confused that we can't heal our allies. But yeah, there was just something about that one ditto. Where for whatever reason, because I don't think my accuracy was screwed up, and there's no way that it could reasonably be faster than me. So I have no idea what it could even be. Hmm, honestly... Honestly, uh, payback is not as good. The Emeras are meant as the IQ skills for this game. Maybe, but at the same time, they're not like... Like, they're not at all one-to-one -one in any way compared to, like, the team skills from GTI. Because they have their own very unique applications, but I wouldn't consider them, like, replacement at all. It's like such a very different system.
Like, I guess, like, in theory, it is a thing that modifies you. But it is kind of sad that, if, if, if that is true, that it is meant to be the replacement because it really, like, isn't a replacement to, like, well, that's just very mean. All right, did you get my... You took away my goddamn barrage, you bastard. Because, like, I would never expect, like, a, a tactic to be like, ah, you hit twice sometimes. But... Like, again, the non-sleeper, the non-trader... were just a very nice quality of life things that you could work toward that it's disappointing. If the Emiras are indeed the super replacement there. Oh, there are ancient writings over there, too. It'd be, be faster to have Gabriel read it. Could you? Sure. Here I go. Let's see. Why do Pokemon become stone? Dark matter is the source of all woe. I'm just trying to think like dark matter. That's interesting. Is it actual dark matter, like an like antimatter universe kind of thing? I, I don't know. It's like dark matter. Weird. Dark matter. There's more. Dark matter absorbs the energy of Pokemon as it turns them to stone. Huh. So did dark matter take over Yvatel? Or what? Hmm. <laughs> Mawile like, fuck, I'm out of a job. <laughs> With that energy, it grows stronger. Dark matter will continue to turn Pokemon to stone to enlarge itself. So basically... Th <laughs> what? Huh. My brain just jumped to... So this is the bitter cold, but self-sustaining. It's like a flicker of darkness going, I'm gonna make the world shittier for my own benefit. Whereas, th like, the bitter cold was just there, vibing, until the world got too evil, and then it's just like, Well, I'm done vibing with this universe, time to die. I believe that there are a few that are one-to-one -one with IQ skills from previous games, but they are mostly for endgame dungeons. Huh. The fact they trade power for not being permanent is annoying. Yeah, because for me, most of the, like, IQ skills were whatever, but the ability to be like, oh, if I get confused, my, or my allies get confused, they won't hit me, was a nice thing. Granted, it didn't seem there, there were that many team skills in GTI. I think I got them all pretty early on, but I, it, I guess it also speaks to this game that I haven't noticed until now against a single ditto who was a speedy little asshole. <laughs> it was him, the ditto of RN Jesus. Crucify the ditto now. What does that mean? If it's written here, if what's written here is correct, then this dark matter is responsible for all the turning to stone incidents. But it was Nuzleaf and Yevatel that turned us to stone. So what is it? Dark matter? Is it a Pokemon? I don't know. It's the first I've heard of it, too. There's something written over there, too. Look out for the Void Shadows. Void Shadows will make poke... Well, <laughs> survival horror. It got yoinked away. It cuts off right there. It looks like whoever wrote that was in a big rush. Maybe something happened to them as they were riding. What in the world are Void Shadows? Well, it does say to look out for them. Looks like, it looks like Dead and Egg got a call. Dark Matter, Void Shadows... I no longer have any clue what's going on! I've got a really bad feeling about this. And now we've entered the Star War. It's not all bad. Huh? Yeah? Yep, right nearby! What a relief. Could that be... Yeah, that sounds right. That way. Hey, Buzel, where's Archon, though? Is Archon actually gonna die? 
It's really you. Buzel! Hey, Jackpot, the gang's all here! Oh, and Bunnel B. I, I completely forgot Bunnel B was a existence. <laughs> Mawile, didn't he? And Gabriel and Neon, too. Archon, Bubble Bunnel B. I'm so glad you're all safe. No idea why, but my brain went down a path and said, now we can that scene that nobody talks about from Stephen King's The It book, that it will never appear in any adaptation ever. I don't know why, my brain just went bloop immediately to it. And I haven't thought about Stephen King's It ever, and haven't even read it. It just went... Time for random factoid to be stabbed into your brain. I see. So it's like that, huh? This place is for Pokemon that were turned to stone. So that means Dedene said she was glad we're safe. But we actually aren't, even though we seem to be. I was beginning to suspect something was up. Even still, I'm happy that we all found each other here. It gives me hope. Guess you're right. Now our Crocodile Pursuit Squad and Prehistoric Ruins Expedition Squad are one. We haven't even run into Crocodile yet either. I wonder if he's just rumbling through the void lands going, Where are you, Nuzleaf? Where's my goddamn money? As if it'll help him here. Let's work together and get moving. Well, we'll all... Uh, we'll all tripped up my brain for some reason. We'll all get out of here together. Keep hope alive and don't give up hope. Now let's do this. Ah. Starro the Conqueror from DC Comics, I presume. But my before that showed up, that little aside, my brain went, Gabriel would probably make a good Expedition Society leader when... Ba ba ba. Oh, chapter 18. Hope. After uh, Ampharos uh, retires or dashes, dashes away. There's something funny about this place. It seems there should be more mystery dungeon over there. There's just this one path. We have no way to go but forward. Let's keep going. Now we have a big group of people to talk to. Let's go ahead. I don't know what kind of foes we might face up ahead. Don't let your guard down. We can do it if we work together. We can't fail. Not with this group. Let's blast our way through. I feel better knowing you're all here too. Together we shall save the world and hopefully not die. Take out more apples. And take out more orum berries. <laughs> Amphros would totally just dash into the sunset with no explanation. And he was never heard from again. And members you want to take with you, go, uh, and away you go. I like this music. I'm going to bring uh, Mawile again, because... Small while good. I hope we don't have the entirety of the guild following behind us. We have the entirety of the guild following behind us! Ha! Huh. This is either going to be very good or very bad. Oh, Hydro Pump is cool. I, in a way, I kind of do enjoy that we have the entire society with us. Just going through this place. 
Aw, oh, it did 28 damage and then more damage. How dare. Damage variants, damn you. I was going to hide behind Dedene then. The music's also very interesting. Go ahead and screech. Damn it. I know that you're a wheel, but you can't be that fast. Ah, oh, you're gonna be a... Maybe you're not a ditto. Now whenever I see a looplet in this hellhole, I'm just gonna be like, Ah, oh, it's a ditto out to fuck me. Oh, hello, God. You are a weird little man. Die. We have an entire army. They should be able to overwhelm these guys. Hey! An Ekans. Well, not an Ekans. Arbok. It's been a while. Haven't seen an Arbok in this game yet. I don't think. Yeah, you keep doing one damage to dead and A. I'll just punch you from over here. Why do I, like, kind of hear rumbling in the soundtrack? I don't like the sound of it. Oh, it was a terrified status effect. And then I need to get in the way. Well, that's very mean. Nom. We'll travel to, like, uh, one more room. Kill him, Bunnelby! Oh. Yeah, you can come forward and get smacked. And trap proof. Hmm. Now we haven't found that many Emeras yet, so probably a smart idea to have trap proof on. And of course, when I say, like, oh, we'll go to one more room, it's the farthest room away. Let's get out of here. You all can annihilate her. The soundtrack is also very nice. Damn it. Again, they spawn me into a room that I cannot get the Emera in. The one that I spawn in, that is so annoying. Well, at least it gave me a consolation one that I can't really use, but gives me attack. Again, the rumbling in the soundtrack is kind of scary.
and barrage. Hell yeah. And we definitely want to go this way. Toughness wouldn't be bad to have. I was going to say there are no Emeras, but no, there is an Emera. It's just underneath Buzel. Another barrage. Since I'm the one that's going to do the most attacking, I feel like I should have it on. We have come to beat you to death. Let's see. The music goes through, like, various emotions, it feels like. Okay, there's just five billion <laughs> patches. That Emera Dust trail went on forever. Make sure this doesn't, like... Clairvoyance, you say? We are here to kick your ass. That is the one nice thing of having five billion Pokemon following me. I can just surround a sleeping enemy. And it's hilarious. We have to get out of here somehow. Anyway, we have to go we have no other option than to keep moving. This place is definitely creepy. If we all stick together, it makes me feel brave. We've got no choice but to go as far as we can. I think we might be almost through. Put those away. I think we're good on apples, elixirs. A few more orange berries. Now you, I went to talk to Gabriel. No, I went to talk to Gabriel. Fuck off. <laughs> I wonder how long this dungeon goes on for. Long, long. Paralysis guard increases HP. Nom. Music is very groovy and unsettling sometimes because of the background noise. Power boost X, we are going to hunt that motherfucker. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of psychic types, it feels like. Do you have it? Ah, uh, just another confusion guard. There's a power boost X in here. Is it you? <laughs> the power of power. Power boost X. Well, you're very rude.
I punch you. Stop that. Stop confusing people. That is very rude. I know that you are an apparition and not an actual Pokemon, but still, that's no reason why you shouldn't act like one. If you're going to pretend to be a Pokemon, you might as well go the full nine yards. And that is how a phantom Pokemon escaped the Void Lands. We shall annihilate you. I do like that the majority of my allies. Jesus Christ, thank you, Bunnelby, for being on my side. <laughs> that would be horrifying to run into. An unceasing barrage of doom. How about you focus this? My fist in your face. Growl all you want, I still punch you. I punch you, you die, the world is a better place. Well, that's not the good move to use. Luckily, that Kranidos was an idiot. Definitely guard boost for the boy. And more Emera dust. Ooh, dizzying stare. That could be nice. Honestly, I don't think the guard boost raises my defense that much. Increase a special defense. I will take that. The one downside is that, like, the non-selected Expedition Society members don't act like actual party members. So they don't pick stuff up for you. Get confused, idiot. Alright, everybody's missing this asshole. The speediest confused wheel you ever did see. The calm, craggy area, you say? Well, we haven't run into any- A BAN SEED?! What does that do? Seriously, there is a actual, like, low rumble at that point in the song that actually sounds like distant thunder. So it almost makes me go like, oh no, is there rain on outside that I'm missing? Oh hey, power boost Y for the boy. Again, I think it would, it's not unreasonable to want to be able to see enemies nearby my allies. Especially when there's a Pokemon train this long. Whoa! All of a sudden, it's pitch black in here! I can't see a thing! Is everybody alright? I'm okay. Yeah, the Void Shadow is gonna attack in here? That seems very convenient after what we went through and they, the, 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 the person presumably being dragged away from being uh, the ancient writing. Me too! I can see a light. Let's go check it out. Let's see, is anybody missing? I don't think so. It looks like we've made it. Look at that wall, everybody! More writing. Aren't those ancient writings? Ah, but there is this, this sludge. They certainly are. I'll read it. Let's see. 
Somewhere in this world, there exists a tree of life. Oh, oh, it's actually, it's actually called the tree of life. I was just like, oh, big tree gives power. I'll like do a world tree. Ah, tree of life. It actually is a tree of life. Again, like, it, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's a generic name, but it just smacked me upside the head for some reason. That tree of life has become possessed by dark matter. Become? How ancient is this writing? Because that happened like five days ago, from my perspective. As it grows, dark matter snatches away the vitality of the tree of life. If this continues, the tree of life will wither and die. We must do something. And that's the end of it. What's this about a tree of life? It's an extremely large tree somewhere in the world, and it's called the Tree of Life. It's the source of vitality that is the foundation of all living things. It is breathing life into our world at all times. The Tree of Life is the very life of the planet itself. So kind of like Yggdrasil from Tales of Symphonia. <laughs> from my Twitch chat, I'm gonna need to catch the VOD again because I bet your reaction to hell was priceless. It's just like, yeah, how did we get here? Why is there a bank in hell? The life of our planet has been possessed by dark matter? Isn't that a really big problem? Indeed it is. It may threaten the fate of our planet. Where are Bunnelby and Buzel, by the way? There was the dark sludge of doom. There was, uh, evilness. So I've been thinking about it. And don't you think that dark matter could be here in the Voidlands? Dark matter? Here? Yeah. If dark matter really has possessed that tree, I was thinking maybe the Tree of Life could be here too. I considered that at first myself, but I don't think that's the case. The Tree of Life exists back in our world. Hmm. If we, like, super evolved with our Harmony Scarves now, would we become, like, evil? If the Tree of Life has been possessed by Dark Matter, then that means that Dark Matter is not here in the Voidlands. Oh. Well then, we really have to get back there somehow. I wonder what's going on there now. Neon did break the barrier over the spring. I can't imagine Yevatel would just left, uh, would have just left the luminous water sitting there. I don't even want to imagine it, but I'm sure it's pretty bad back there. Um, where's Buzel? Oh! Yeah, he's gone! That'll be two, right? Where could they have gone? Great. They're dead. Oh! Buzel! I don't think that's Buzel. This is Pokemon the Thing. Oh, there you are! What a relief! You had us really worried! Where did you run off to, Buzel? Have you seen Bunnelby? Stay back, everyone! That Buzel is an imposter! What? The Bunnelby! I seen it! Some creepy looking black creature transformed into Buzel! What? This is not our Buzel! Watch out! Oh! What was that for, Mawile? The imposter is you! Uh, insert uh, Among Us meeting sound effect. Bunnelby would never say seen. He when he would have when he should have said saw. And that is how you uh, save yourself uh, proper grammar. Did it then cast silence on Buzel then? <laughs> Doing a little dance and then he died. Buzel. Well, that's disturbing. Why does this remind me of Digimon Survive? Bunnelby? What is that? What's going on here? What happened to Bunnelby? More than likely, it's too late for Bunnelby. <laughs> well, he's just fucking dead. It's too late for Bunnelby now. What? Watch out, everybody. Here they come. Brace yourselves. Oh, the boss fight time! Presumably. Oh yeah, what is a band seed, by the way? 
Enoch causes the disabled status condition on the floors. On the floors. Nobody will be able to use the move the Pokemon that ate the seed last used. Huh. Interesting. But, uh... Petrifying, hope it works. Ah, uh, nope, it's gonna be another super quickie. But uh, then I know what to do. Blast Seed. Just get it out of the way. Make sure it's dead and gone. Oh, that's not good at all. They can split up. That's crazy. <sighs> and more. What are these things? No matter how many times we smack them down, they just pop right back up. It's no use. They won't stop. Are there even more of them now? Oh, and Buzel's dead. Buzel! Whoa! Yeah! Archon, didn't he? Gabriel, there's nothing you can do for them now. Save yourself. But I swore an oath. All together. With everybody. I swore that we would all get out of here together. But then this had to happen. Listen to Mawile. Didn't he? Don't worry about us. Get out of here for our sakes. If they actually stay dead, that would be hardcore. Ah! Never mind, we can't stay dead because I'm not going to die. Oh, Eon! Oh no, I'm a guard down. Uh, what's going on here? It's all black and sticky. I can't move! Neon, are you alright? Is that Gabriel? No, Gabriel! I don't care! I have to save Neon! I have... Hell! Gabriel's voice is fading. I feel like I'm about to faint. I can't... Uh, I'm trying, but... My senses are all slipping away. It's no use! I guess this is it. Oh, hey, are you actually gonna do something? But he got got here too late to save Buzel, Bunnelby, Detonate, and Archon. Huh? Entei! Raikou! Suicun! Am I saved? Neon, are you okay? We have to get away from here! What? But what about Didney and Archon? If we stay here, we will meet with the same fate. Give it up! Roar! Well then, dwindling party indeed. What the hell is that? <laughs> Where did you take us? We appear to be safe for the time being. You saved us. Thank you. But what about Dedne and the others? Are you going to be an asshole? Whoa! Do you think we came to save you? Do not think so highly of yourselves. We have merely judged you necessary to make our escape from this place. Necessary? The human. Should you hope to overcome this crisis, summon a person. The writings of those ancient Pokémon are related to these turning to stone incidents. We believe a human is the key. You can read the ancient writings, can you not? We also can understand them to a point, but we will need a precise translation. There is also the matter of your scarves. Scarves? 
On Fire Island, those scarves suddenly began to glow. And we went Sailor Moon on your ass. We do not understand why and my voice I, that was Raikou talking, but I messed it up. We do not understand why that happened. But those scarves appear to be imbued with a special power. They may be of use to us when the time comes. Can you comprehend that? Unfortunate as it may be, you will be the pawns we sacrifice to leave this place. What? And if we refuse? Then we will leave us. Then you will leave us no choice. Uh -huh. You would have already been defeated by Void Shadows if it were not for us. Your lives are ours now. You should have no complaints. We have also deciphered some of the ancient writings and the mountains that you see there is known as Reverse Mountain. The very summit of that mountain is apparently connected to the world from which we came. Our world? We will make our way there now. Do not attempt to defy us. You will pri prioritize our escape as you support us. There are no other options for you. Now we go. I hope we defy them and leave them here. Uh, I don't like where this is going. I want to help Dedne, and all the others too. I hate to say this, Gabriel. Considering our current situation, that may no longer be possible. What? At least here in the Voidlands, I mean. If we make it back to our world, there is a way to bring back all those Pokemon. Oh, luminous water, right? I can't imagine Nuzleaf would just leave the spring on Revelation Mountain B but we may be able to find luminous water somewhere else. If we can just get out of here somehow, I think we will find some means of saving everyone. And I hope again, we get out of here and leave the legendary beasts here because fuck them. All right, I expect nothing less from you, Mawile. I feel a little bit better now. We have to support Entei and the others for now, but we share a common goal, so we might as well stick with them. Yeah, we could get out of here, too. What are you doing? Come quickly! Let's look for our chance to break through to our world while we follow them. Well, I feel like this is much more intense than the paralyzed future arc of Explorers, definitely. That would appear to be the entrance. You take the lead. M me We want to see what sort of enemies we will face. We will depart as soon as your preparations are complete. Neon, let's do as Inte wants. We share the same goal. It seems wisest to work together. Uh, I guess we've got to take point and keep moving forward. I don't like it, but we just have to do our best with what we have. The peak of Reverse Mountain is one point connecting to our former world. We must reach to that. We must reach that peak. You will take the lead. Learn how strong our enemies are. We will leave as soon as you are ready. Up Reverse Mountain to the Grand Line. Ah, now we have tiny ones. Oh no, they're ghastlies. I thought they I thought they were tiny void shadows. Damn it. At least it's a new trap, I guess. Ooh. 
I need to make a Mystery Dungeon music playlist. So that I have, like, a good amount of, like, music. Just at the ready. At least they're actually helping. To a degree. If only I still had my berry. All berry power, Emera. I did Sakyu's rock smash five million times. Ah, cause you ghost. And then you missed. Why is there just a sock using Rock Smash randomly? I am confused. <laughs> just random Rock Smash usage. Oh, hey, Trevenant. Ow. Oh, he just murdered me. Bastard. And I can't exactly put... Mawile in front. Because that steel would be utterly annihilated by him. Even if she is a higher level than me. <laughs> He's in the walls. He's in the goddamn walls! Rock Smash can break walls. It's literally digging to you. That is hilarious. This segment of the song is so good. Well, she's also half fairy. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> they changed Mawile into half fairy and forgot. Okay, Spiritomb army incoming. Uh, you go fight him. You learn how strong our enemies are. I bite you. No idea how I bite a, a, a floating ball of ghost gas, but still. I don't know why, but the music kind of, at times, sounds like a Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And a level up for me! Well, that's mean. So that one just randomly dug into the wall. Just walking towards us. I'm so angry, punches the wall. 
And I missed the... Well, I wouldn't have gotten to it anyway. Guess we'll give the effect boost to you. So if you can use your Confuse Ray to potentially confuse enemies. See. Definitely give you more. And plus, Ember can potentially burn, I think, so. Effect boost is very good. Oh, no, not you. At least you only did some of my health, rather than all of my boy's health. I will function as the tank. You fool. You have committed death. Who wants to learn a new move? Light screen. Nah, that nah. Maybe something if I was in control all the time. But there are times like even when I could otherwise take control, game says no. So no. None of you are getting my apple, by the way, just because you are legendaries. But you are leveraging my life, and that is not okay. Ooh, power boost Y for the boy! If we all get out of this, we better as hell hold all this over the legendary dogs' head as we beat them to death. want more speed to hopefully dodge the enemies. Well, that's just mean. Okay, good. <laughs> My allies wanting to go pick up items has saved the day. Actually, you know, you, you attack him. And more power boost Y for the boy. You're gonna get pressure washed by Suicune. You idiot. Unless Suicune ran out of power points because of I'd like if anybody would go fucking attack that guy. <laughs> You're the legendary beast, ain't you? Go fucking fight him. Fuck no! I ain't fighting that guy. Not for you. You take some damage for once. We are beset from all sides because this game is an asshole. For some reason, the violin part reminds me of uh, Requiem for a Dream. Like a specific, even like a, I think that is, like the song. I think it might also be a movie. And excessive force gives me attack. I prefer to do more upfront damage than collateral damage against uh, enemies that may or may not be there. Astonish this. I also just realized it's been, like, years since I've even listened to Requiem of a Dream. 
Why did it just come to me out of nowhere? Ah, uh, well, we're back to uh, Rock Smash Hours. He's very disturbing. Swap things out. It's kind of weird sometimes when you like hold the I want to go over my allies button, the game is like, oh, you don't want to pick up this item? Which makes no sense. Oh, hey, it's Brazong, you bastard. You motherfucker. I will use elixir. Nom. Yeah, smack him up. Take that. You should have shouldn't be rock smashing so much. Okay, there's just a ton of them. Out and about, I guess. They, they basically are just coming from the walls. Do you have socks in your walls? It's more likely than you think. Another excessive force, I'll just upgrade my attack. Ah, oh, status immunity. What does that do? Oh, sometimes. So it's just a. Uh, a lesser berry power. How did our apples, like, come with us? Were the apples also turned to stone? And just dra dragged along? I do kind of like that I can just shove my allies into danger like you go fight him. Oh no. Yeah, you fight. Go kill him! It's not my fault that you're weak! Why are you legendary so useless? wonder you all got turned to stone. You all suck. Then again... Dang it. At least they, for the most part, all went the proper ways. Except for Raikou. Fine, I'll revive you. Even though you used up all of your goddamn power points like an idiot.
Instead of chasing down Raikou, let's just get out of here. We have climbed quite far. Look! There, ancient. Ancient writing. You! Me? Read! Well, golly gee gosh, Mr. Raikou, I don't know how to read. Not for assholes. Um, okay. Here I go. At last you've made it here. Just beyond here at the top of Reverse Mountain is the Door to Hope. A path of light that connects to the world you once knew. It is an exit from these void lands. So it is at the summit. However, there is a problem. A countless number of void shadows are blocking the light from above the ground. What? More of those black thingies? And they're countless now? Fine! Keep reading! Um... The power to defeat these void shadows is unfortunately not something I possess. And so I will wait here. What's this about waiting? For what? Judging by the position of the stars, dark matter should stop momentarily. Dark matter is related to the movements of the astronomical bodies. If everyone fighting back against dark matter in the world can somehow protect the Tree of Life, dark matter will cease and the end of the world will be averted, and I will be able to leave this place. In other words, I'll be able to return from being stone. However, even if I were to get out of here, the fight would not end there. I must prepare for the distant future. That's the end of it. A stop to dark matter. The position of the stars. What does it all mean? Dark matter is snatching away vitality from the Tree of Life. The Tree of Life is wilting in our planet. No, our world will soon come to an end. But dark matter has some relationship with the position of the stars. Is that why the sun is getting closer? <laughs> because it's a star? I believe it sometimes becomes active and other times it stops. The Pokemon who wrote this must have known that it was about to stop. That's why they decided to wait here for it to do that. I wonder if they got out of here all right. I don't know about that, but it seems there's little doubt that dark matter ceased once long ago. How do you know that? Because our world still exists. If dark matter hadn't stopped, this planet would have been finished. None of us would have ever even been born. The last thing written here, I must prepare for the distant future. I think the distant future mentioned there is our era. It's right now. The ancient Pokemon who wrote this wasn't just concerned for their own time. They knew that in the distant future, Dark Matter would return. And as expected, Dark Matter has returned in our time. Those ancient Pokemon who protected the Tree of Life, they made preparations to protect us here in our time as well. One of the measures they took must have been the sealed spring that was on Revelation Mountain. But you were outwitted by the likes of Nuzleaf and Yeveltel. So are you, jackass. This is all thanks to your foolishness. Hey, guess I would know. Uh, I know what would happen if I just said what I wanted to say. They just growl at us angrily again, so I won't say it. What's up with that? Who is he calling foolish? He's so rude. Based on the position of the stars, do you think Dark Matter will cease in our time? Are hoping that if we just wait here, we'll be able to... Are you hoping that if we just wait here, we'll be able to get out? I think you'd better give up on that hope. These incidents of Pokemon being turned to stone started happening not that long ago. We haven't precisely determined when Dark Matter became active again. But at the very least, we expect its activity to continue for some time. Hrumph! I was not hoping for anything. I was only asking out of curiosity. We will rout the enemy with our power. Onward to our escape. You take the lead again. When you have prepared yourself, we will make for the summit. Until we can leave this world, you are nothing more than tools to us. Know your place. We better backstab them and leave them here. Jeez, what's with that attitude? I mean, this is the global crisis and they're only worried about themselves. Doesn't it make you mad, Mawile? You're almost as strong as Ente, right? All the same, my power is no match for that trio of legendary Pokémon. And also, how can I put this? 
For whatever reason, it just doesn't bother me. It's kind of strange, I guess. Um, is that how it is? Oh, well. Anyhow, I think we're almost there. Let's do our best to make our escape with Inte and the others. It's true that these legendary Pokémon have a bad attitude, but for some reason I'm not bothered by it. How odd. That better not be foreshadowing of something. I want to take it to the boy. Why are you auto-locking on? I think the summit is just a little farther, Neon. Let's really put our backs into it. The fact is that we've been brought to this place, all because of your foolishness. I mean, you didn't even know who actually turned Entei to stone. Technically, it's your fault for not knowing it was Nuzleaf. Until we have made our escape from this world, you are nothing but tools we must use, understood? An infinite number of void shadows stand between us and the surface. If we make it to the summit, we'll have to do battle with those void shadows again. The only one that's not being an ass is Suicune, it feels like. Oh, hey, toughness. When did I get in there? Let's see. I guess we'll bring these two big apples to eat when we get low. And... More reviver seeds since the legends are fools. I like that I can kind of push my, like, some of my allies onto the diddly dees to pick them up. Let's see. I'll put on a toughness. And then a toughness for the boy. Good God. They are a sock. Can the diggy in a hole? Diggy diggy hole. Diggy in a hole. I hope they run out of power points if all they're wasting. If they have infinite dig works, I'm gonna be angry. Counterattack is bullshit. How dare you, game. It's not even like they're digging in an actual direction. They're just digging randomly. Because back here, you can actually see just these random little indents in the wall. We get good music. It's hard to tell even which way is the exit from the mini map because the socks are just going ham on the walls. Again, not even digging, they're just randomly punching the walls. You fight him. Is he just standing there? No, he's asleep. Type bulldoze, you say? I want that. So I can post these, punch these goddamn ghost types in the face. You kill him. I'm not wasting my power points. They just created another room. Another toughness. Well, I guess I can give that to the girl. We have the boy, Gabriel, the girl, Ma Wile, and then the neon, me.
This, play, this entire place feels so weird because of all the wall punching those guys are doing. But at the same time, the, the, the bulldoze. I want the bulldoze. Where are you? Where are you, sock motherfucker? I want my goddamn bulldozer. Surely it can't be you. Well, that's just rude. I punch you from far away. One of you motherfuckers has a bulldoze. And I'm gonna grab it. Uh, yeah, y you fight him. Yes, look at me, so he can backstab you. Type bulldozer, hell yeah. Definitely worth it, so I can use my strongest stab moves against them. I guess that, uh... Wait, that one dropped an item. Why'd you drop? Ah, that's worth it, I'd say. Punch. Sometimes it's just super worth it to dig in for that one random enemy that's wandering around with an Emera. <laughs> the weather got good. Never mind, now it's raining. Now, <laughs> all right, the weather's just going crazy. All right, I think uh, there's this hell. This might be hell. You're a giant fuck off bell. How are you fast? I am the fastest bell of them all. Ooh, type bulldozer. I'll give it to the boy. Yeah, let's just get out of here before craziness happens. <laughs> Grow down in Kyogre down here, I guess. I mean, knowing them, it wouldn't... I bet they would be, all things considered. Jesus Christ, so much... Another power boost Y for the boy! Honestly, effect boost, you haven't done anything, so get out of here. We're just gonna have the strongest... Well, status immunity is was the least thing ever, so... Come back. Hmm. I'm just gonna give it to the boy. To eat. Well, at least now it's no longer like damaging everybody. Well, some socks have definitely come through here. Hypnotized, idiot. And 
sandstorm macked it up. Well, here's the exit anyway. Toodaloo! I don't think I trust that. Where's the infinite amount of dark matter? Or, like, void shadows? We reach the top! In those ancient writings, if those ancient writings were indeed to be trusted, then this should be the so called door to hope. Kingdom Hearts is light. My Sino door. This is the highest point that we have reached so far. That is certain, at least. The sky is not far above us now. But that blackness covers it now. That black mass. Ah, that's the infinite void shadows. It's as I suspected. So these are the countless shadows we heard of. Not as countless as we thought, I guess. There's the door! It kind of resembles the... the time gate. Or, or like, uh, the passage of time. W what is that? If you want to get there, you've got to fight. So you only have a limited amount of time before they fall down again. It's already gone, but for that one second, that certainly looked like it could be the door to hope, all right? That's it. So the door to hope is that lone beam of light that connects to our world. But the light is hidden beneath the, pl the many shadows now gathered in this place. Then, if we can just manage to beat all these shadow things... The light will shine. And the door to hope will appear before us. Oh, 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 Mega Gengars, too. Oh, well, I've typed, but I have a type bulldozer, so you can die. Whoa! Oh, that one, that one's worse. Now what? Stand firm. They are no more than illusions drawn forth by the countless shadows we face. Disperse, foul shadows! We will reach the door to hope. Onward! Again? Wouldn't mind if you guys got stuck here. It probably won't work, but slumber. Oh, it even has, like, the mega evolution symbol for these guys when they're getting hit. Alright, I'm going to, uh, blast seed you. I should have a few. Because you're the biggest and scariest. Oh, you, you, you don't do that much, do you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here and try to beat this uh, Gengar. Because, uh, there we go. God damn it, Suicune! This is why you don't trust legendaries. Yeah, I was weighing the, like, pros and cons of using a alliance attack there. But I figured using Blast Seed and then seeing where things went was for the best there. <sighs> we finally beat them all. The all so far. Oh, I think, did it get bigger? No, it just, uh, it just got smaller before disappearing last time. Now let's hurry through. It's the door to hope. We must pass through it. Run! Whoa!
What in the? Ah, oh, they're spawning faster now, are they? The, the door to hope is gone. <sighs> no matter how many of them we beat, they just keep coming. And now they're behind us too! There's no end to them! If we continue like this, we'll run out of strength before they run out of numbers. Ah! <sighs> uh, Mawile. Mawile, I must beg a favor. Uh, Neon! Neon, are you okay? I tried, but I just can't. Oh, uh, why does the door to hope keep on disappearing so quickly? Is it could be that we're losing hope so quickly that it disappears? I don't want to just give up. But at this rate, I don't know how we can... What? Can I trust you to do this thing or not? So that was your plan all along? Fine, I'll do it. Riku, Suikun! I'm ready. After all... We decided this together! Mawile! Gabriel, Neon, I hope you're ready. M Mawile, what are you? Now is the time! Is it their own alliance attack? Oh, she blasted us closer to the door! It was a sacrifice. They're all gonna get stuck here. Damn it, I wanted Mawile to come with us. But, but this is... Gabriel, Neon, go through the door. You want us to what? We knew it might come to this. We were prepared. Also, this music. We are not such fools as to believe that we would all make it back from this place. But... You are the ones! You have the best chance at saving our world! As soon as I found Suikun and Raikou here in the Voidlands, we exchanged a vow. We vowed that we would deliver the two of you back to our former world. Did that mean you had to be such assholes about it? You two are our hope! You guys! The door to hope fades! Go now! Fly, you fools! Neon! Everyone! You hold just a little bit longer! I, my brain just did not work on that sentence is all. Everyone! You just hold on a little while longer! We are definitely coming back for you! We will save you all from this place! I swear it! Gabriel, Neon, we leave the planet in your hands now. Save our world! <laughs> I do like that they weren't just being dicks. Their uh, intent was always to make sure you, uh, to get the two of you home. True, but they could have, like... Not been like you are just tools for us to use. Like I, when did when did it serve for them to be so anim like antagonistic except for Suicune? Uh, everything hurts. Well, you were quite stiff until just a few moments ago. Uh, where am I now? Wait, isn't this Revelation Mountain? That's right, Gabriel and I. Gabriel. Uh, ow. Uh, Neon, where are we? Huh, Revelation Mountain? That's right, we... We came back from the Voidlands! Now I remember everything, Neon. We have to save the others. That luminous water. No! The water, it's all dried up. 
I knew Nuzleaf wouldn't just leave it waiting here for us. I knew it, and yet... So there's no way to turn them back. We didn't even run into Crocodile in there. Oh, the music. Raikou. Suikun. Even Archon. I really thought we were all gonna make it out of the Voidlands together. That place. It wasn't the kind of place that you go to and make it back unscathed. There's no way we all would have made it back. It's just like Intei said at the end there. He knew it was a lost cause, and that's why he decided to bet everything on us. They did it all for us. All along. When I think back now about how cold they seemed to us, I guess maybe they just didn't want us to know what they were planning to do. I guess it could be that they noticed how intent Gabriel was on trying to get everybody out. So... He was like, actually, let's be jerks to them so that they're in a tough bind. <laughs> Maybe. Crocodile was probably ganked by Shadows forever ago. It's just the fact that he seemed stronger than a lot of Pokemon. He was able to bash through the boss monster gate to Revelation Mountain, past the, the first gate. And uh, he was only in there a little bit longer than us, and he was in there far... For a far shorter amount of time than Entei, but granted Entei was a legendary, but also Entei was in there alone for a, quite a while. We owe Entei and the others everything. We can't give up now. They left this world, this whole world, in our hands. Gabriel. I know. I know you're right. And I'm the one who promised we would save them. To do that, we gotta first keep this world from ending. I've just gotta shake this funk. Huh, but why did they choose us? Maybe because our, our, our harmony scarves are connected to the Tree of Life. But then, who are you, Gabriel? Like, why were you swaddled in harmony scarves and placed on Karakosta's doorstep? That was so conveniently located next to Revelation Mountain. Around the... Only a few years, presumably, before I would get here. I mean, I get you, Neon. You're a real human, after all. Unless it turns out you're actually a human. Somehow as well. But that wouldn't explain why you could read ancient Pokemon. Who knows? Harmony Scarves, orphan that can read ancient Pokemon. And that's what was written on those old tablets, right? Should you hope to overcome this crisis, summon a person... I think Entei and the others really believe that and put their faith in those words. But me? Why would anyone count on me? I can't say for sure. But there are still some mysteries surrounding Gabriel too. Like being able to read this ancient writing language as though it's nothing. And the scarves too. If Gabriel has really had them forever then, when I think about it, there are actually a lot of strange things about Gabriel. Oh well, I guess I just got lucky enough to be put here with you, Neon. This is no time to be waste on things on thinking. And besides, it's not just Entei and them who have pinned their hopes on us now. We can't forget Dedene. Dedene! Don't worry about us! Get out of here! For our sakes! When we parted ways of Dedene, we were climbing Reverse Mountain with Mawile. Doesn't it make you mad, Mawile? You're almost as strong as Entei, right? All the same, my power is no match for that trio of legendary Pokemon, and also, how can I put this? For whatever reason, it just doesn't bother me. It's kind of strange, I guess. I didn't understand it then, but maybe Mawile had already figured it out, what Entei and them had in mind. Maybe she knew how much they were planning to give up for us. It's not just Entei and them that we owe. Everyone has given something up for us. Gabriel. They've all done so much for us. Archon and Buzel and Mawile. Except Bunnelby. Fuck Bunnelby. All of them. 
So this time, this time we'll be the ones to help them. We don't have time to waste with getting all depressed or anything. That's my Gabriel. Neon, let's get back to Lively Town. We've got to find Ampharos. That's just what I had in mind. It would take too much time if the two of us tried to tackle all of this on our own. And that's time that we don't have. We should start by talking to Ampharos. And let's get off this mountain. Are we going to at least drop by Serene Village first? And gaze on in horror? What? Everyone is gone? This is probably the first place they attacked, too. I feel like this is really the game that puts the partner into question so, so much. The other three are just Pokemon with good hearts and a spirit for adventure. Like, the only exception-ish is the Explorer partner, but that's only because it's almost like the Explorer partner is the protagonist, the main hero of the story, because they were the chosen one of the uh, artifact fragment. And it's almost like the player character is the sidekick that helps them along the way. Because, like, they're, they are the one that get, like, gets to go home in the end for a decent amount of months. But, yeah, Rescue Team was very basic. I feel like if, like, I don't know. Maybe they didn't have time or, like, budget. But I do feel like the GTI partner also had possibility to them. Like, I spent the vast majority of that game worried that the partner in GTI would fall to despair and have an arc that we have to drag them back from nihilism. And I think that would have been cool. Especially considering their backstory is, I was an orphan with no friends or family, and that's why I got all this money to buy the shittiest plot of land that I could to build a paradise. Just maximum depression, and they just hold out entirely. And you have the ability to say no to going back at the end of GTI. <laughs> Having been experiencing Rescue Team recently with the remake, and it's more than I remember and give it credit for, to be honest. I will always stand that Rescue Team is the perfect entry point to mystery Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Because it's basic and simple, but there's a beauty to that simplicity. And I really need to make that retrospective on it someday. That's like one-fourth, hey, this is a game review, and three-fourths illustrated retelling of Rescue Team's story. But that means a lot of drawing, and the anxiety kicks in. But yeah, Rescue Team is like, even though Rescue Team is like, at the bottom of my favorite Mystery Dungeon games, like, Rescue Team is still very good. The remake having proper cutscenes is wonderful also. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Again, maybe if sometime I get, like, a decent amount of disposable income, I might grab it. Maybe if it goes on sale, then again, it's a Nintendo game. They never go on sale. Maybe, <laughs> maybe then I can play that one to round out all my Mystery Dungeon playing. <laughs> What happened to the village? How could that many Pokemon just... No. No, they couldn't all have been turned into stone, could they? Come on, Neon. We're leaving. What? Look, I may be worried. Like, really, really scared to death worried. Oh, they actually say death. I don't know what happened to my old pops, where he is, or whether he's okay or not. I'm petrified just thinking about it, but but if I go and try to find my old pops now, I don't think I'll be able to keep going on this path that we've started down, and I can't, I can't stop now. Gabriel, you, I can't just think about saving Serene Village. It's the whole world that needs saving now, and we don't have time. So let's go, Neon. Let's go to Lively Town. Gabriel. It's not like I have a father figure to look for either. I can't wait to kick Nuzleaf's ass. It's all right. My old pops will be all right. He will. He has to be. You know it would be even darker if somebody got turned to stone and then their statue shattered? <sighs> Uh, 
Is it just me? Or is it getting hotter than before? The sun is getting closer! Did you forget? Uh, it's true. The sun even looks bigger in the sky. That can't be, though. Didn't we learn that it was getting closer? I guess we all forgot. Oh, look, Neon! You can see it now! We finally reached Lively Town! Silence across the prairie. It's just a bit farther. Come on! I don't know if they was told. I'm fairly certain. Oh, this planet is already... Owai momo shinderu. But... But yeah, the we were told that the sun was getting closer, I'm like 90% certain. Then again, it could have been a cutaway to just like Ampharos and Jirachi. But I'm fairly certain we were told it. Ah, <sighs> nose pass and milk take two. We've all been turned to stone. It can't be. I mean, Nuzleaf did come here. Probably scoping things out. The whole town. We've all been turned to stone. Every last one. Neon, what about everyone in the Expedition Society? Swirlix is fucked. Amphros and Jirachi, they're fine. Swirlix, dead. We have to find out. I think it was dramatic irony and the duo weren't, but yeah, I might be misremembering. Oh, it's playing the sad music again. Neon, let's get to the Expedition Society HQ. Even the bank is gone. It really was taken to hell. Huh, I guess nobody was down here for the freezing. Can we even go in here? Neon, there's no time for wandering off. The Expedition Society is more important. Everyone here has now been turned to stone. I'm worried about Anthros and everybody. Uh, everybody, you mean three Pokemon. No! Yep, Swirlix fucked. I knew it. Swirlix! I guess Swirlix gave in to despair and started eating. Even Swirlix has been turned to stone. What's this? Perfect apples? She wasn't even trying to run from an enemy or anything. She was just standing here eating a perfect apple and they attacked her. But... What about Amphros? Jirachi! Amphros! Jirachi! Wah! What in the world? If it isn't Gabriel and Neon! I guess they came in here to hide out. You scared me half to death. I thought we were being attacked again. Amusing that all the shopkeeps are alive. Now I'm just thinking of the bank being turned to stone. Thank goodness. At least you're all right. We all fled here when the attack came. I wasn't sure we would ever see you two again either. Please, tell us what happened to the town. Yevatel attacked us, Hakra. Yevatel? And not just us here in Lively Town. Yevatel sent out a warning to the whole world, claiming that all Pokemon would be sent to the void. What? The void. We didn't know what that really meant. When we first heard the warning, we didn't understand a thing. But when Yevatel appeared here in Lively Town, all of our friends turned to stone, one after another, right before our eyes. It was a complete shock. I grabbed the deposit box and ran straight here. The members of the Expedition Society opened this building to all, all of us. We were in no situation to refuse, so we took them up on their offer and evacuated here. I'm so sorry. Sounds like it was horrible. And Yelvatel was attacking all the Pokemon around the whole world now? What purpose could that even serve? According to the ancient writings, Dark Matter is behind Pokemon being turned to stone. But then how are Yelvatel and Nuzleaf involved? We still don't have any answers. It is no matter. Yevatel has turned on the Pokemon of the world, Hakra! The legendary Pokemon are attempting to battle Yevatel on their own. But from what I hear, it has only resulted in them being turned to stone one after another. 
I don't know if we should even try to fight him any longer, Hycraw. Right. You're right. I don't know how to fight him. But I'm gonna find a way. No matter what. And I'm gonna save those Pokemon who've been turned to stone. So don't worry, everyone. Just keep your spirits up. Huh? What's the matter with all of you? Oh, nothing. I just never thought we would have to be cheered up by a child like you. This is quite the eye-opener. Yes, if we have to be told by Gabriel of all people. We must really need to get our acts together, so that's just what we'll do. That's great! No need for you to worry about us. No one can keep us down for long. After all, didn't Amphros say that he'd take care of things some way or another? Huh, Amphros did? Did Amphros make it through the attack? Yes, Jirachi as well, Hakraw! Yay, the music! Oh, wait! Da -da 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 it's been a while since we heard this song. Yes, Jirachi as well, Hakraw! They are hard at work in their rooms, though they've been in and out at all, all the time trying to find answers. So I don't know for certain that they are just now, Hakraw. Neon! I know! I'm still sad that Swirlix has turned to stone, but it's such a relief to know that those two at least made it through. <laughs> like any of us would just stand around to be turned into stone. Naturally, it will be business as usual, even if we must temporarily set up shop here. <laughs> we want to help the Expedition Society. I've set up the deposit box right here, too. We'll all try to keep things running as they usually do, so... Just come talk to us whenever you can for our service. Thank you, Kecleon, and all of you. Neon, Ambrose, and Jirachi are okay. We have to find them and talk to them. Let me guess. <laughs> We're always here to help the Expedition Society. Now I will... <laughs> Sell you things for the normal price. You'd think they'd give me an end of the world discount. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We also didn't find any boxes in the hell zone. Let's see, is there anything I care to sell? Like, uh... God, I have so many plane seats. If only I could sell them all. Guess I'll sell the grimy food at least. This is food from hell. But yeah, I, I find it kind of sad that Swirlix basically gave up and just started gorging on perfect apples before just dying. Didn't even notice. Let me guess, when we, like, save the world, Swirlix is just going to begin eating again like nothing happened. Oh! Ah! I Esper! Gabriel and Neon! Esper, you're all right! I should say the same. Is it really you? You're the real Gabriel and Neon? You are. You're real. I'm so, so glad. I'm happy that my favorite slow burn school arc character is alive. <laughs> Swirlix died as she'd wanted to. I'm so glad. <laughs> what in the world? Esper! What? You saw us getting turned to stone? I don't think we've heard this song in a long time either. Yes. I was hiding up on Revelation Mountain and watched it all from afar. I know that you told me to wait in the village, Gabriel, but I... I was too worried to let you go alone. 
So I followed after you in secret, and then you two were turned to stone right before my eyes. I can't believe that you returned from that. How did you do it? Through much sacrifice. Well, it wasn't easy. We went to fucking hell. And so Gabriel told Esper about what had happened in the Voidlands. I see. What a terrible time you've had. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Never mind that. I want to hear about you, Esper. How did you end up here? I was asked to help, come and help by Ampharos. By Ampharos? Does this mean that Esper gets to be another Expedition Society member at the end of all this? That's right. Where is Ampharos now? I just, now it just got hit. Like, what if at the end of the game, I get forced back to the human world and it's Esper and Gabriel on the team coping? Because it would be like... <laughs> Just, like, horrible and terrible, like, Esper's losing her friend again, and Gabriel is permanent losing his bestest friend in the whole world that he gave Harmony Scarf to. Alone. <laughs> ah. Because, ah. actually, that would be an interesting Pokemon Mystery Dungeon thing, where instead of a duo throughout the entire game, it's a trio. Like, what if you, like, uh... In a Mystery Dungeon game, you do the personality quiz... You get a Pokemon, and then you also, through the exact same personality quiz that you just did, you get, like, so basically you do the personality quiz once, and then you get two Pokemon. One is the one that you play as, just, like, given to you. This is the one you got through it. But also decided through that same personality quiz is a second Pokemon who's a part of your team who plays, like, good story importance, and then there's also the normal partner. I think that'd be neat. Mostly, though, that's mostly due to the fact that I enjoy character moments, and a trio would be prime time for character moments in a PMD game. He's gone out. He and Jirachi have been going out constantly in the search for answers. I stay here and use my telepathy to help them keep in touch with each other. Already replaced Dedene, I see. <laughs> Thanks to that role, I've been able to glean quite a bit of information from their talk about dark matter and what is going on in the world. They know about dark matter? Impressive. What is going on? That reminds me! Esper, but what about the Serene Village? What happened there? You mean, you didn't see it? The village is... Everyone is... They were all turned to stone. Gabriel. Then, even my old pops. Pops! <laughs> Gabriel! Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Esper. I really like the friendship between Gabriel, Esper, and Neon. It's just, it's nice. What? You think it'll be all right? Gabriel had already decided back when we left Serene Village. But, but if I try to go and find my old pops now, I don't think I'll be able to keep going on this path that we've started down. And I can't, I can't stop now. Gabriel, you... I can't just think about saving Serene Village. It's the whole world that needs saving now. And we don't have time. So let's go, Neon. Let's go to Lively Town. I believe in the... I believe in the resolution I saw in Gabriel's eyes. Even if actually hearing it came as a blow. Gabriel won't give up now. Gabriel will come back. If you say so, I just hope you're right. Again, like, if this was a story story, this would be the point where, like, the hero would go and console the partner, have a character moment. It's true that we don't have any time. Dark Matter has grown significantly already. The Tree of Life won't last if we... Who's there? Gabriel? Floosh? No, that's not Gabriel. They were watching us, hiding back there. But who? Who was it? Who would be watching? The Litwicks? 
Whoosh. Looks like they headed upstairs. That's because nobody else knew about the Litwick, so I think they'd still be around. Let's follow them. But first, I want to. Uh, I'm all while. Oh, the just pure silence. If only we could add hell to the map. Oh, fuck. B Beam! Wh who are you? I can't believe it. They followed me all the way here. I'll put a stop to this once and for all! Beam! I'm gonna fucking kill you! I wonder what that means. Oh, I can't even help her. That's bad. I'm gonna screech in your face. I have reviver seats for days, asshole. Enough that I'm willing to do this. You already made me simple. That's extra mean that he has a special ability. I'm gonna beat you. Revive him seats for days, Jerko. He's still moving? He's persistent, I'll give him that. Man. Yeah! Glock! My old pops! How dare you guys attack him! You did this! You monster! You hurt my old pops! And everyone in the village! Gabriel, that's enough! He's not even fighting back anymore. This isn't right! Esper. <laughs> now tell us, what did you come here to do? You've got me all wrong. I'm not here to hurt anyone. You attacked us first. I was trying to get away from the ones who are hurting everyone. I was running away from Nuzleaf and Yuvatel. What? What did you say? We were all being controlled by dark matter. We were just tools to them. You were... Being controlled? That's right. Be because of you. When Gabriel and Neon escaped from the Voidlands a little while ago, it seemed to cause some kind of shock. And I at least managed to free myself. Once I could think for myself again, I knew I couldn't stay there with them. So I waited for my chance. And then I ran away. Are you serious? You expect us to just believe you? I think he may be telling the truth. What? Ampro said something similar. That dark matter can invade the hearts of Pokemon who have any darkness in them. So this literally is Pokemon Kingdom Hearts. The door to hope is light. Even if it's just a little, it's enough for dark matter to control them. The Pokemon that it controls gain the power of the void. Then they use that power to suck the energy from other Pokemon, turning them to stone. And that energy is then used by Dark Matter so that it can grow even greater. It is by controlling other Pokemon that Dark Matter gets its energy. Right, that's it, exactly. You've got to believe me. I only fought you just now because you attacked me out of the blue. I was just defending myself. But it's not like I turned you to stone or anything, right? I mean, not that I even could if I wanted to. I don't have the power to do that anymore, but because I got away from Dark Matter. If Yivatel and Nuzleaf are also being controlled by Dark Matter like Behem, well, it would seem to clear up another of the mysteries, but can we really believe this Behem? Say we believe you. Why come here? I know where Dark Matter is. I know where to find the Tree of Life. You know where it is? 
You know where to find the Tree of Life? Where we once turned the Expedition Society members to stone. The prehistoric ruins. The Tree of Life is deep within the ruins. The Tree of Life is in the prehistoric ruins? The only reason no one has discovered it before it's because it's so far inside the ruins. And now it's being taken over by Dark Matter. But Dark Matter has grown so large already, we don't have much more time. I came here hoping to find someone who would help me destroy Dark Matter. He thought he could defeat Dark Matter? Even if I was being controlled, I did terrible things. Such horrible things. I... I turned your friends to stone. I turned so many Pokemon to stone. I know I can't make up for that now, but if I can at least save the world from being destroyed... What do you think? This could be our best bit of luck yet. Or not. I want to hear what Amphros thinks. Esper, can you reach him? I understand. I'll try to reach him now. Did you get him, Esper? It's no good. I can't seem to reach him. But I don't know what the problem could be. Hmm. I was hoping Amphros would be able to help us decide, but... I guess we're on our own. So I guess we're headed to the prehistoric ruins. Esper, you're supposed to help Amphros and Jirachi stay in touch, so you stay here. Neon and I will go, with Behem here. It sounds pretty dangerous, but I know we don't have much time. So I guess there's no other choice. If Behem is telling the truth, then I think we should go and fight right away. We might be able to outwit Yevatel and Nuzleaf, too. It's dangerous, but it's the best chance we've got. If you do reach Amphros, tell him we were here and where we're going. I will. I'll go back to the Chief's room and see if I can't contact him somehow. But first, let me get in a message to Lapras. She fled- Oh, it actually is a she. Yeah. She fled to the sea before the attack, but I think she'll come back if I tell her about this. Good luck. Is it the, the Hidden Lands? What is the Hidden Lands? Or is that the Void Lands? Is the Void Lands actually a physical place and it's that covered up place? Thanks, Ex Esper. Be him. You'll guide us to the prehistoric ruins. But don't think that means we trust you. If you put one digit out of line... I know. I don't expect you to trust me. But I'll do my best to prove that you can. Let's go, Neon. Kecleon should be all set up on the first floor by now. We'll stop by, get anything we need for this last journey. And once we're ready, we'll meet Lapras at the harbor. And then we're off. And I do believe that that will be a good ending point for this stream. We've been going for just over three hours. We got to hell, got out of hell. And presumably we're heading into the final part. I have no idea how long the final part will be. If this even is it, considering one boss tile left. Gabriel is saying this is the final journey. It'll probably be a three to four hour stream as we get to the Tree of Life, try to excise the dark matter from it. We'll have to see. I do love that Gabriel isn't all forgiveness and, absur and is absurdly skeptical. It makes sense. <laughs> He's blaming Behem for the actions of all the dark matter troop. So it definitely makes sense that he is just uberly pissed off. Especially because he saw us attacking. Uh, he saw it attacking us, so. He was working out that aggression. But yeah, this is the darkest hour ever. Like, no other Mystery Dungeon game has been this bleak. Because in Rescue Team, sure... The hero and partner die in a meteor explosion, but they come back soon after. And there's also the fugitive arc, but that doesn't last too, too long. So it's just like two spikes, but that's it. Explorers, there was the petrified future. And like other like little moments like that. And it still holds like the vibes of Explorers still holds for me. 
and like GTI, there was the moment in the desert where Kirim just came in and wrecked shop. As well as the goodbye, but this is the most prolonged, like, bleakness. <laughs> it's like they kicked off the third act with us be being sent to hell. What is this, a God of War game? Ev like, most of the cast is dead, functionally. Only three, like, story-important characters weren't turned to stone. Esper, Ampharos, and Jirachi. Everybody, well, I guess also Nuzleaf, but he's a, like, a possessed asshole now, so can't exactly trust him. I do like still how protective Ampharos is being. He feels like he really uh, earns the title of chief. He definitely does. Still makes me wonder what happened last time they let children join the Expedition Society. Maybe that's why he's so protective. But it is kind of sad that, like, most of the Expedition Society didn't get a send-off. Bunnelby just got murked off screen. Buzel was silent for his passing out. Archon got jumped. Dedene got a little bit. And Mawile got the most, which granted, Mawile is Bay and the favorite, so glad she got to uh, play a big role. Then Swirlix got uh, stoned off screen. Meh. And then there's like Caracosta, like uh, Panpour, the principal, Watchhog, the vice principal. Wigglytuff definitely was strong, but he doesn't ultimately feel more than just strong. Yeah. While there is a bit of, like, little bit of conniving, like, maybe there's some intelligence to him, there's too much, like, Wigglytuff energy for him to entirely be, like, a reliable, like, you can put your full trust in him kind of leader. Ampharos is a little bit silly, but very trustworthy. Wigglytuff is very silly, and while trustworthy, the very, very silliness kind of uh, affects the flavor of that trust. Although I do think that Wigglytuff is a little bit more... What's the word I'm thinking of? Like, uh, iconic? Wigglytuff is a little bit more iconic. It's this weird thing where even though the Expedition Society is more fleshed out and, like, you kind of spend more time with them uniquely compared to Wigglytuff Guild, Wigglytuff Guild is just very iconic. He's a crouching moron hidden badass that forgot to stop crouching, whilst Ampharos is very quick to jump into action when needed. I think it's just that we don't really get to see, like, uh... Wigglytuff do all that much. Everything he does is, like, off-screen. He never really got a moment to shine all that much. But yeah, I am very enjoying this. This is definitely the longest Mystery Dungeon game that I've played so far, which I'm very happy about. Lots of story. And I do believe that we're entering into the end game. Gabriel said that it was the final adventure. We'll have to see how long it takes next time. I dearly hope, I dearly, dearly hope it doesn't end up as another Ace Attorney finale where we play for seven hours because surely the, the ending is just a right around the corner, right? But this is very good. The music is good. The characters are good. Oh, this definitely knocked GTI down. This is definitely at least second place in my favorite PMD games. But there's just something about Explorers that I can't quite explain. Because, like, this partner is kind of like I what I wanted out of the GTI partner. A lot more focus on the partner. 
The guild is very good. The, the, the Expedition Society. The slow burn at the beginning was very unique. This is just going really, really good. You'll probably get to credits next stream, I think. Oh, boy. Can't wait for <laughs> the pain and the misery. You can one stream it, if anything, uh, because it will be awkward as hell to two stream it. <laughs> but, yep. Next time on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will finish the main story of Super Mystery Dungeon and see how this game is going to make me cry because we have not touched on how the human is going to be sent home yet. We don't even know why we were brought here. It is entirely possible that dark matter brought us here to open up the spring and damn the world. That would explain why the Behem and Nuzleaf were both there when we were brought here. And... And... But there's just so much left to explain. The sun is getting closer. Why is the world tree connected to Gabriel's harmony scarves? Why can Gabriel read ancient Pokemon writing? Why was I brought here and by who? We're gonna have to see. <laughs> Damn it, I missed another stream. I'm dying. I'm so sorry that timing just it does not seem to work out for you. If you really want to binge, all the streams should be active through the raw stream playlist on the streaming YouTube channel. That should be an option, unless I mucked things up. Otherwise, I am trying to upload all the VODs at a decent clip. But super broke me hard. Oh boy. I do want to I do want the game to make me cry. So we'll have to see how things go. We will have to see how things go. <sighs> Cuz there's a lot of mysteries left. There's probably going to be a confrontation between my character and Nuzleaf probably breaking him out of being a minion. Then there's got to be the fight against Yevatel, which will be the Kirim fight for this game. Then we probably need to fight the uh, core of Dark Matter, kind of like we needed to fight the Bitter Cold. Oh boy. Gotta earn that happy ending. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, I do think that they kind of, like, found a good balance, because this game kind of has... Like, the Wigglytuff Guild and the Expedition Society. But they also have the Post Town, I think it was, from GTI. Uh, yeah, they have, like, the with, like, Serene Village. It's kind of the Post Town with the Pokemon. You get to know a lot, especially with the school kids. Man, we didn't even get to see what happened to them. Or the Litwicks. I thought the, Lick, the, Lit, I thought the Litwicks were going to be, like, a Chekhov's gun. Like, the Litwicks are going to show up and be like, surprise, nobody knew about us, so we're going to save the day. But I guess not. Oh, oh, what if the Litwicks could have come out and taken everybody to the hidden, the ancient barrow to hide away? That would have been awesome. Oh, well. The Litwicks failed us all. But yeah, next time... We're going to see exactly how this <laughs> everything gets resolved and see what pain remains for us. Because we got to solve the mysteries of Gabriel, the mysteries of me, the mysteries of the dark matter and the sun. So much. But anyways, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my uh, link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, has links to everything I do. My edited content YouTube channel, my streaming YouTube and Twitch, as well as uh, all these VODs, the streams, get uploaded to the YouTube after the fact. And then if you want to read things I write, there are links to my writing. If you want to see art from me, like my little character in the corner, you can see me post to the various sites linked in my link tree. And then, of course, my Patreon is a little donation bucket for the super, super generous and giving. But uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy. 
But most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. Thank you very much for spending your time with me here today. Bye-bye. Thank you.